when 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 everything went down and all the crazy stuff that was going on at Merlin at the time, and then you know he left. What made you? What made you stay? Uh, you know, Coach Williams and the staff, man. Coach Art Perry, Coach Billy Hahn. You know, those dudes came to my home, man. I never forget. You know, uh, Coach Williams and 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 the coach staff. They pulled up in my house, and I remember, you know, the kids in the neighborhood running down the street, you know, sitting outside my house on the block, just, you know, so they could just see him come out of my house, you know, and uh, it was ex an exciting time for me. Um, he, he, he talked about, Coach Williams talked about how uh, he, he was surrounded, uh, that I would be a focal point for the team and how he felt that he could help me get, um, be the best player that I could be. Um, he talked about possibly me playing at the next level um, I had no idea about that, man. You know, the, the, the day and age now was just so different than, than when I played. I mean, you know, guys were not, where, where guys were from was not publicized as much. So I had no idea that guys from around in, the, in my area was going to the NBA and was, you know, playing on TV. That's just, I just thought that that just happened to someone else from somewhere else. Right, you know, right, so right. I didn't know that it, it was a reality. So, uh, you know, um, he he really made me feel like uh, he would help me be the best player that I could be. Once again, I wanted to uh, I wanted to be a, a good player at home. I wanted my family and friends to see me up close and personal. You know, a lot of a lot of kids shy away from that, but I, I wanted that. I wanted that. I wanted to take on that man, and uh, I wanted to show that um, I can have the same impact as Lynn Bias. I can aspire to to be that level of player and. And, and what have you. Um, so um, I was a wild dude. I mean, who would think something like that? You know, that dude, right. was, that dude was everything. But uh, I really felt that I wanted to come behind and, and give it a shot, see what I could do. And uh, I wanted to do that in front of my family and friends. So, you know, Coach Williams uh, and the coaching staff as a whole, they made me feel comfortable in the transition. Uh, they made me feel like they had a lot of confidence in me. And as I went on throughout my career, you know, Coach Williams was tremendous and not only uh, the growth in, in, in my skill set, but my mentality, man. He, he really he really helped me grow in, in, in uh, having confidence in myself. And, and, and that was and that was I mean, like I said, man, I, didn't, I didn't watch a lot of college basketball growing up until I got to until I got to the math of, mm -hmm. but like, I mean, stories for days, man, like like. You basically, how does it feel, man? Basically, I man, I know you, you know what I mean? You, you big bro, you you so humble, man. So, but how does it feel knowing that you was basically like the pillar, like the kind of like step kept running together, even throughout the craziest times when things was going on, you know, obviously with the Len bias and, you know, you have different coaches coming in. Um, Like, how does it feel, man? Like, like you from here, yeah. like I, I was talking to Lonnie and I was like, man, how does it feel, you know, winning the national championship, I'm from here do it here like you you home so how does it feel for you knowing that you was like that glue that kind of kept running together where everything was kind of like in a sense kind of like falling apart in a sense i i, I mean i'll tell you the truth man I, I didn't i didn't uh concentrate on that at all man i had no idea the thing for me was that i i didn't i didn't really even agonize about making the decision whether to stay or leave mm -hmm. um you know, when I realized or when I found out that I could could transfer and then play right away, that mm -hmm. really heightened things on me making a decision on whether what I was going to do. And I think that uh, most thought that it was in my best intentions to uh, transfer so I can have an opportunity to play in, in the NCAA tournament. But for me, it's just like you said, I was I was at home, man. And uh, that meant more to me than anything to play in front of my family and friends and like I said, impact the community and have guys come behind me to want to follow in my footsteps. I know how, how much that meant to me uh, going through that process. And so I wanted to have that, that same impact, man. So, um, you know, uh, I was lucky enough to uh, play in that, that PG County League, uh, that 4A League with some not only great players, but great coaches because they were ahead of their time. You know, they allowed me and many other guys to to uh, play with versatility. You know, virtually every big dude that I played against could dominate around the basket and shoot threes and beat you off the dribble, all of that. Right. 
and we talking about in the eighties, you know? <laughs> and so um, I believe that I, my high school league uh, was ahead of the curve, not only with the players, but the way the coaches coached, you know? And uh, that really helped me a lot, especially with the transition from going to high school to college and, and going from a center power forward to a point guard, right. you know? And uh, it was easy for me uh, because of being in that environment in that PG County League, but also uh, the roots of my game came from street ball. And so uh, the, the combination of that um, allowed me to be a versatile player and, and make that transition. And that, that really helped me a lot. Um, I think that, but what the biggest thing for me was was Coach Williams and, and his confidence that he had in me. Like for instance, uh, you know, I remember after we lost at home to a cop in state, man. And after that game, I went to Coach Williams and I told him, I said, you know, I, I believe that I could be the point guard and, and Tion McCoy could switch to the off guard offensively. He guard the point guard on defense, but offensively, you know, I believe that I can handle the ball and run the team uh, at a higher, higher rate than he did. And he could shoot the ball. He could shoot better than I could back then. So I thought that that, that blend would, would work well for us. Well, the next day in practice, you know, Coach Williams threw the ball out and he, he said, hey, okay, you go ahead and run the point. Press me all practice, man, just to see, you know, put me in, in intense pressure just to see if I can handle it. And uh, after that, he was confident that I, that I could. And uh, that, that meant something to me. You know, that he he would have that confidence in me. And uh, I did not take that for granted. And things like that just grew, you know, as the years went on, you know, my junior year, senior year, how, you know, he would uh, uh, call on me to be aggressive, to score. You know, mm -hmm. when I was when I stepped on the court, I, I felt like he felt that I was the baddest dude out there, man. And I tried to prove him right every time, man. He motivated the crap out of me for sure, because I know you know for you know him. He he's not. Um, it's nothing fake at all about him. He's going to be very real with you. And I felt like for for him to have that feeling about me, that okay, I must be I must be a raw dude out here, and I'm gonna show him every chance I get. And so that motivated me, and I, I feel like that was one of the biggest reasons why I got to a, a, a high level in college and, and, and was able to uh, uh, be an NBA player for, for such a long period of time. And, and like you said, man, <clears throat> that's huge, man, in regards to your, comp, your coach having that much confidence in you. It makes you go out there, like you said, I'm, I'm going to go out there and prove him right because he believed in me this much. So I'm going to go out there and, and basically prove to him that you're not wrong in a sense. Right. 